So can I ruin this wallet? Well, I don't want to ruin the wallet. I want to make it look better and I have an idea and I'll explain everything here in just a second. But before I dig in, hold on. It all started when I was noticing the footballs in the NFL games. I know the leather for the footballs is made by Horween. I even have a few of those hides here. Oh, and fun fact, every NFL football since the 1940s is made with Horween leather. And I will put a link in the description for more facts about this leather used. Uh, it's down there in the description. Where were we? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what I began to notice was that the leather of the footballs in the games seemed to look different from game to game. I didn't know why or when they appeared different, but in some games, the leather looked more reddish, the original color of the leather from the tannery, and in other times it looked like extremely dark, brown, almost black. So what was going on here? Uh, this made me want to find out, of course, and being an academic, I had to research. And that's what I did. That's when I learned about mudding. The footballs are mudded. It's a whole process, which I'll get into in a minute. But first, how did this all start, this mudding process? Well, it actually started with the baseballs in the major leagues. A guy named Lena Blackburn, he was a third base coach back in the 1930s, I believe. He started searching for a better rub for the baseballs. And long story short, he found the perfect, quote, mud. Uh, it's found on the Jersey side of the Delaware River. And that mud, which is called Lena Blackburn Baseball Rubbing Mud, has been used on every single major and minor league baseball for the last 75 years. And I'll put a link to the Blackburn stuff down in the description also. Well, so back to the footballs. Well, come to find out, spoiler alert, footballs in pro and college are also mudded. You may be wondering, uh, if every football is mudded, why do some look darker than others in the games? And the quick answer is wetness. Uh, also, because every football is mudded by hand, uh, they're going to differ slightly in appearance from game to game. It's a natural thing. So now we're back to what all of this means for you and me. I began to wonder what it may do to the leather on wallets. If I were to do the official mudding process on a wallet uh, made with authentic whorewing football leather, um, I'd already know. Just look at the NFL footballs. So I don't need to do that. But I wanted to see an even more drastic change. What if I started with raw veg tan leather, a leather that has zero dyes in it added at the tanning process? So I made this wallet, just a new design, and a single piece of leather, it's folded, manipulated, sort of like an origami. No stitching, just solid copper rivets. So this will be the final test subject. Before we dig into the good stuff, as I promised a bit ago, I'm gonna give you the steps that the pros and colleges use to mud their footballs. Uh, but to save some time, I'm gonna put them here on the screen. So if you're interested, just pause and screenshot. And keep in mind, however, the exact method and steps, they do differ from team to team. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna do all those steps that the pros do. I'm gonna do three sample strips. I'm gonna do one mud and water, one mud with balm, one mud with neat's foot oil. This is the balm. This is the neat's foot oil, 100% pure. Don't use the compound. And I'm gonna mark off half of these so we can take a look at before and after on each one. Let's go get some mud made. Still working on the fire pit. Mason's Forge. All right, let's go over here. Oh, look, this is what Chloe does to some of her stuffed animals. Eh, cute little monkey. Come on, Chloe. Chloe, come on, little girl. Let's go. Okay, I've flipped everything around so that you can see it better. We've got water, balm, neat's foot oil, the dirt, uh, 
coffee mix. That's for me. Ignore that. That's for me. All right, I'm just going to mix them up real quick and then we'll put them on some test strips and get rolling. I'm obviously not a chemist. I'll mix these up a little bit better off camera. Uh, whoop, son of a bitch. Little mishap here. Right on my god prison pants. Oh well. All right, here's what we've got. Mud with water, which is pretty much mud. Mud with a leather balm. Mud with a neat's foot oil. All right, let's put them on the leather. Gonna squish them all in there really good. I'm getting better as I go along at squishing this in there. Water, balm, needs foot. All right, we're gonna let this sit overnight, soak in and penetrate, and then we're gonna come back tomorrow and pick up where we left off, but you don't have to wait that long because we got the magic of movies, so hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, not so fast. Uh, you may not have to wait 24 hours, but I do, so as I wait, I have two quick points. First point, I was chatting with Chloe this morning between runs, and she had a great comment. She said if the viewers of our videos enjoyed them and got some value out of them, they should consider subscribing to the channel. If, if you haven't already, that is. And I had to agree with her. Subscriptions to the channel really do help us out and allows us to make more content. Second point, uh, since this video is not officially sponsored by anyone, I'm going to toss in a complimentary sponsor, and that's Mascon and ZB Tools. We have a bunch of tools back in stock and more coming soon, so be sure to check out the link in the description for the best tools for Leathercraft, designed and built by Leathercrafters for Leathercrafters. All right, where were we? This is a little interesting, huh? I wasn't expecting this. The water and the bomb curled the leather. The Neat's Foot Oil did not. Let me wipe this off with a damp rag, like they said in the pros, and see where we are. Okay, there's the water and our damp line. The balm and our damp line and the neat's foot. Ooh, that was nice. I should be waiting another 24 hours for these to dry because of the damp, blah, 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 but I'm not doing all that. We ain't got all that time. Well, I have to say I'm a little surprised. Bomb water kind of dried quick. That Neat's Foot oil is looking good. All right, grab a real horsehair brush. Let's grab that pretty one right there. And now we buff. Well, I don't need much more convincing. I like that. A lot. Let's put it on there. I don't want to get any mud on the inside of this, so I'm going to make a little slip thing here. Look, you can even use the Mascon and ZB tools to make this kind of stuff. Let's see if we can ruin this wallet, right? I guess it doesn't matter about getting it dirty or muddy, huh? Because that's what we're doing, getting it dirty, muddy. And maybe ruining it, we'll see.
You see this? Looks like I've stained this with something in the past that you couldn't see before. It's keeping the mud and oils from going in right there. That's gonna be interesting to see later. All right, I'm gonna set this, take this out of its that. Put this in here, and I guess according to our rules, we need to let this dry for 24 hours. We'll come back. Now I gotta clean this shit up. According to our rules, we need to get a damp cloth and get this off. Ooh, it's dirty. That was more wet than damp. Not gonna lie. And now we buff. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I actually want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm gonna throw some just pure Neatsfoot oil on there. One more coat, see what happens. Uh, I like that a lot better. I like that. I like that I can see this. I don't know. I'm crazy. Looks good. 